made an upset in guy Ada over Kairos. So the Kairos, though, probably the fourth seed, or there might have been some sort of DQ situation going on there. But yeah, that typically helps if you make it a winner semis. You have a slightly by the chalk easier match yeah. to make it than, than if you have lost that four or five. Right. Yeah. But right. that is that is going to set ourselves in winners. We watched, yeah, we watched all six winners quarter uh, qualifiers. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And Crudo uh, really punctuating that one. I mean, I think we. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily know that like he couldn't have been a little bit more dominant, but yeah. I mean, I think Inner Guy definitely showed us some some good stuff. I think on Crudo's end though, um, even in those situations where like he wasn't opting to go for that full reaction tech chase, just his like actual consistency on the reads though, like he was actually getting a lot of big punishes off of correct um, guesses on 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 what Inner Guy wanted to do off the tech, right? And uh, and I think that's an important part of the game, right? Like you can read it right, right, but you need to do damage. Yeah. And when Crudo was right, he got a lot of damage. I mean, there were a lot of, like, pretty efficient kills uh, off of those knockdown situations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, he, he, you know when when things went wrong, it was because Inner Guy mixed them up or went the wrong way, or, you know, went a different way or something like that. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I also think it's important as a competitive player to be able to play at a level that like, gets you through the bracket, no yeah. matter what time it is or what condition it is and that sort Absolutely. of thing. Absolutely. So, you know, that's good to oh, see. Oh, and we got no jump again. Sent, sent to losers by Kier. Mm -hmm. uh, versus MK? MCK, yeah, MK. Uh, Florida, Florida Fox, I think. Um, the uh, I did not find much data on MK. Uh, there was a match actually Is against it MCKY like MCKY. Or MCKY, Mickey? Yeah. Maybe it's Mickey. Could be Probably Mickey. Just Mickey, huh? That does Mickey make sense. Mickey without the the because it's you know you want a four letter tag because in yeah. melee, when you set your tag, four letters is the the classic. That That's is like what, what fits you're into the game. Able to do within the confines of the game, so. Yeah, I'm gonna call, call him Mickey, and I'm I'm happy to be corrected. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think there was a, a 65th in an event uh, and a and a tough battle with Codeman, the Pichu. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a matchup you see every day. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Pikachu rare as it is, and then the smaller, more self-destructive Pichu. That's a that's a once in a blue moon sort of a thing. Yeah, Pichu just not really having mastered. Like control over his own electrical capabilities. Right. Too young to control. Yeah. The power. Right. Too young and too inexperienced, but likely to grow later, right? And eventually become a Pikachu that has that level of restraint. Eventually will will grain into the power. Yeah, no jump uh. looking really solid right now. Ooh. Just boxing Mickey into the corner. You know, I feel like I haven't seen a Fox Ditto really all day. Yeah, I'm me either, actually. This is my first one. Yeah. Huge snare there. That's going to be the edge guard. Wow. No jump looking. Poised right now. Very solid control over Mickey just kind of escaping out of the corner. Uh, this kind of makes sense. I mean, I think for for no jump. Oh, and I said no jump lost to uh, Akira. That's not quite right now. Yeah, no jump. Um, no jump lost to Peach Pants. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. Right. This is this is that uh, second pool in the wave. Right. But yeah. For me, this is a matchup that I always found really hard because my natural inclination, especially when learning the game, was to whiff punish. But Fox is a little bit too fast to directly. Yeah, a lot of the time, punish. I think this is one of those matchups where like you actually want to just. I mean, if they're if they're giving you those really easy nares, that's one thing. But I think a lot of the time, you got to realize that there's enough things that they can do on offense to make them like like right there, right? No jump, getting that spot dodge out. I think it's better to bait the spot dodges, bait the up tilts, bait the shines and then get your damage that way. But otherwise, like, if you're not sure, don't pull the trigger. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't commit to your grab or your up smash or something. And this is something I've also been really uh, bad at over the years, but something I think I've tried to rectify, especially, like, super recently, is just doing a lot more of that kind of play style. And I think it's really good in this matchup. Yeah, you're trying to really give you something you can work with. Like, they're great. Great pick up there on the land. Whoa. No jump getting hyper creative with the downer off that platform. Almost got something. I like to see that. Fox is very good at just keeping people off balance with this sort of pseudo combos. And yeah. That it's not always going to be the you know the most technically known combo is a good thing. Great cover. Oh, great cover. I love that jump uh, bear on the side B because that is like that's like the true test of like if you're reacting well. If you're really covering everything the Fox can do off the ledge. Ooh. Right. Well, I, I, I think, you know, I think to, to even get that reaction on the side B, I really think even using the audio cue is, like, essential. Yeah, you you miss it. You miss it when you don't have it. Yeah. 
100 percent yeah some players play like with audio off and you know, i can't do it with headphones and stuff and i've always used spacey side b is like the reason i don't want to mess with that exactly that little ding yeah i hear it fast really i can see it and no jump right now i mean they're they're kind of slugging they're they're kind of going back and forth with regards to these knock downs but the problem is that only one of these players uh, is that on their last stock? Oh, oh no! Crazy read. Mickey just gets up into it. I don't even know what compelled Nojem to go for that because it's honestly, like that was, that's the kind of option you're gonna yeah. see in Smash Ultimate, where getting normal get up off the ledge is very common. Right. But in melee, I mean, a lot of the time there's so much crazy stuff you can do up the ledge, that, like that's really not worth going for. But when it works out like that. You come, you come out of it looking like a genius. I do a worse version of that a lot, and so kind of the key that I realized is when I see that they have not let go of ledge fast enough, yeah. and I think they're going to come up, yeah. that they're either going to do a ledge dash that does not have a tangibility, yeah. or they're going to do a get up. Yeah. That's that's kind of the unconscious call. Right. Not to, not to speak for no jump there, but... Ooh, big tech for no jump. Like there, like you can kind of get the timing that something has not gone right. Right. But yeah. then there, there are, of course, a lot of ways around that. As the Fox, Look for that lapse of... Uh... And you know what's funny is this is actually something I kind of consciously do as well, is like, as the Fox on the ledge is kind of getting sharp like that, I think what's actually really strong is you do movement that makes your opponent think. Yes. You're not going to hit a clean ledge dash, yes. and then you do. Oh, um, yes. And that really, you get a lot of mileage off that. Um, because people are like, oh, he's like doing, you know, those sorts of jumps. Yep. Um, but then when you hit it, they're just not ready for it. You you can get some massive punch because they did not know that you had it like that. Right, right. They simply didn't know you had the dog in you. Mm-hmm. Mickey right now just needs a grab yeah. or a dash tech. But the problem is when you know, it's like, I just need one little hit. Oh, yeah. That's when you can start to get a little bit too desperate. So you got you to gotta kind of cage that. That was nice. Clean dash tech, and that should be pretty easy. There it is. Good turn around to position for back air on that. Yeah. No jump, I'm really impressed with the neutral. Definitely. And also the punish oh. back could. Almost. Yeah, Mickey barely getting out of that second hit of the up air, the, 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 the lethal one. Oh! That is that is very tight time. The freeze frame moment, yeah. I yeah. saw that, that up smash was just about I saw to up intercept an air. Yeah. But that's no that's really just a that's it and you know anything could happen sort of a situation. Whoa! Wow! That was very very fast to know that the jab was mm -hmm. sending behind. Okay, that's a big grab. Yeah. Uh, oh. Call tech in place a, a little bit too hard. Oh, what's the edge guard? Oh, the uh. fourth smash is not going to cut it. Fox is coming from that low angle, kind of singed his toes. Wow. Ooh. So was the angle possible to get to ledge there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but it's hard. It's a you know, it's a very narrow one, and so as a fox, you maybe think that they're just gonna come straight on stage. And yeah, I mean I think that at the start of that edge guard, mm -hmm. uh no jump was setting up to cover a side B. Yes. Saw the up B was like, okay, well I, I don't think I can even get over to ledge in time, so I'm just gonna dedicate myself to covering all the on stage options. Because mechanically if you hit an angle that's too narrow, you got auto corrected back down to straight. Yep. No jump with the chase. Okay, just not grab. No jump again. Kind of working on a three stock here. Oh, oh my no. goodness, Mickey. That's a rough way to go out. But good stuff to no jump. I mean, I think even without the SD at the end there, I think no jump was, was definitely just playing a little bit more solid. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think there were a lot of really good ideas coming out. Um, just better idea of when to go for the whiff punishes and a little bit better on the combo side as well. And those are going to be the, the difference makers, I think, right? Uh, Mickey showed some good stuff, but No Jump just looking a little bit more prepared. No Jump looked so composed and ready for just about yeah. everything, which was impressive. Just being a step ahead in a lot of these situations that we saw. I mean, I wouldn't have even been that surprised if No Jump, because again, it was like uh, the, the loss to Peach Pants and winners, yeah. but that set was really that was okay, close. close to O. Close to O. Um, close but to I, I wouldn't have been surprised uh, to see No Jump take that set yeah. either. I mean, both of those games were like real, pretty much like down to the wire, so. Yep. Um, definitely, we're expecting No Jump to to, to to do some work here in the losers bracket.